Buko Reef is predominantly dead. That's the finding of a study conducted by the Cropper Foundation. The study included seawater quality monitoring testing between Plymouth and Crown Point. They were made known at a symposium in Tobago Thursday morning. Patricia Nicholson has the details. The study funded by the Inter-American Development Bank was implemented through the Cropper Foundation and carried out by a joint venture between local firm Nuada Consulting and the Canadian firm Virtual Engineers. It found that the much protected Buku Reef is in some serious trouble. It's not for me to say who is at fault there. You know, there's enough blame to go around. Um, but I think that the take-home message is that if we wait for the state to help Buku Reef, we'll be waiting in perpetuity, right? If, if it's entirely a state thing, uh, we, Buku Reef will die and will have no, will no, will no, of no, be of no longer any use to the people and environment of Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Thomas believes a solution could be in the form of an underwater sculpture project near the reef. And the idea is that tourists come there, they spend money and it earns it makes a profit it also uh it also has a side effect in helping the coral reefs in the area by drawing tourists away from the area he said a consultancy company will choose the location for the sculptures do an environmental assessment along with an environmental and social development plan but he noted the biggest problem facing Buku reef right now is wastewater flowing right into it a problem they also intended to treat with and the historical data shows that what is affecting the nearshore water quality and the Buku Reef complex, the fingerprint is sewerage. It, it is the sewerage discharge and the unregulated discharge of sewerage into the nearshore environment. The Cropper Foundation is a non-profit organization with a focus on environmentally sustainable and economically equitable development in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm Patricia Nicholson for C News.